good morning friends today topic is BAGF AGF and LGTFC easy shipping exit exam question and answer part 9 question number 161 saturated vapor pressure increases with dash in temperature rise in temperature what is saturated vapor see any liquid any liquid we are putting in the tank or in a beaker and this liquid will liberate some vapor with respect to the temperature of your tank atmosphere so, and also with the, once it will release a vapor after that that vapor will get content and fall back as a liquid this is process of vapor after certain period of time in the tank let me take the tank it will become equilibrium that the amount of vapor released by the liquid and amount of condensation become constant the pressure inside the tank on the vapor region become constant this is called a saturated vapor pressure so this will be constant as it is constant with the temperature if any change in temperature again this will be changed and it will reach a new saturated vapor pressure so for question number 161 so vapor pressure increases with the rise in temperature is the correct answer question number 162 what category of training would cover understanding the operation of est emergency shutdown system option a basic option b operational for deck officers option c operation for engine officers option d all of the above the correct answer is option a basics so esd operation should be known to all person on board the ship so this comes up is a basic so basic training itself they will explain this so for question number 162 option a is the correct answer question number 163 what is the effect of boil off on the constitution of lng delivered at the end of loaded passage answer is lower percentage of propane and butane then in the lng loaded so this is the answer for question number 164 identify the correct name for a gas or mixture of gases containing oxygen content not greater than 5 percentage by volume which will will not support combustion so what is the name of the gas the answer is inert gas inert gas is a one which will not enhance the combustion and it has oxygen content less than that 5 percentage question number 165 during the interface study for ships approval by a terminal operator what happened answer preliminary discussions of document analysis and mooring pattern so so terminal operator will check the mooring pattern what the mooring pattern the document will analyze this is a preliminary discussion will be carried out how to what to do the mooring operation what is the document analysis is like what is the as per your document what are the conditions they are telling and where is your tank where is your manifold how to connect how to purge how to do a cool down process cool, remember the cool down process should not be more not more than minus 10 degrees celsius per hour it should be rate, such a rate of 5 to 10 degrees celsius only it should not go extreme fast cooling it will break down your damage your tank pipeline etc okay so like this so many things they will discuss and they will carry out the process so this is what carried out by the terminal so question number 166 what is the temperature at which gas saturates and the water vapor present begins to condense answer is dew point so the temperature at the water vapor became condensed and forming condensate water water it's called dew point So the gas became saturated and water droplet became present in the gas. If you are condensing the gas, again it became a liquid. This is called dew point. Huh? Question number 167. On liquefied gas tank ship, the following action should be taken immediately upon a spill incident. Identify a statement that you should agree with. Option A, water spray. 
of hoses can be used to deflect a gas cloud. Option B, ship must wait to be informed and trigger the ESD by terminal. So at any emergency condition, you can operate the ESD without fail. You don't need to wait for the terminal to reply. You find this is unsafe pack and it is related to the action. You can always activate the ESD. And so option B is the wrong answer. Another thing is, if there is a spill, if it is contact with your ship structure, other than your deep tray, deep tray is made of SSR, which I already discussed earlier. So this will undergo the embrittlement. Brittle fracture will occur. So to overcome this, we put a water spray and hoses move away this liquid from the ship structure and also immediately because of the height, the liquid is in positive temperature as a liquid and uh, your LNG is in negative temperature, it will enrich with the to higher vapor formation. So this will be in overcome this uh, kilometer range. It will be more than 15 percent. That also is helpful. So water spray from hoses can be used to a deflect a gas cloud. It's the best solution. So for question number one six seven, option A is the correct answer. Question number one six eight. After heating of cargo tanks. And prior to gasification, the atmosphere in the cargo tank is replaced with inert gas. Why this procedure is required to avoid the possibility of an explosive or flammable LNG air mixture? If there is a air and you are mix, you directly putting the LNG, maybe this LNG vapor will come into the flammable range and there will be a fire hazard. So overcome this, we are putting inert gas always. Okay, that is the answer for question number 168. Question number 169. While looking up the appropriate MFA chief table number provides the signs, symptoms, treatment and other advices which other documents, publication from the below option will provide quick access to information in case of casual, casualty involving cargo. Answer is referring to the SDS for the cargo being carried. So any first aid measures to the person to the environment we always pass check the msds material safety data sheet so this is the answer for question number 169 under which element in data sheet would be a ship officer need to look for information about polymerization for the particular cargo the answer is element 10 stability and reactivity the element 10 stability and reactivity in msds will give the clear information about the polymerization process Question number 171. A standard safety data sheet would have task elements. Element is nothing but the divisions, partitions. So, answer is 16 elements. Question number 172. Handling and storage instruction in MSDS will not include. Answer is example pictures on unsafe storage. They will not tell about unsafe storage, how to store all these things they will not tell. Okay. We will talk about what action to be done, what is to be carried out if there is a spill, if there is a contact with it, and if there is what temperature you have to maintain, how where to maintain. This is all the things which are related to safety, they will talk about it. And pictures not available always in MSDS. Question number 173. What is the desired condition of cargo tanks atmosphere atmosphere at the end of inerting operation? Remember this, this answer is very important when you are taking first time bunkering like your delivery and if it is like you are doing after dry dock, you have to pass the dry inert gas, not a normal liquid inert gas because dry nitrogen you normally pass, pass, not the nitrogen liquid because this factor, dew point factor, because there will be a dew point is there, you should not have any dew point in the system. To overcome this, we put dry nitrogen. This is the condition required because this is a condition required by carbon as per IGF code. That is, dew point should be less than 40 degrees Celsius and oxygen should be 2.5 percent. This is a maximum oxygen content. Okay, it can be less than that also because mainly they are telling in a condition. So, question number 172 this is the answer. Question number 174 for spill containment and handling on a liquid gas tank ship. Find the most true statement. Answer is the size of the spillage or vapor emission which can be controlled 
or disappear by water spray will depend on available water fire main water pressure and number of jets spray nozzle which can be employed so what they are trying to say is this answer they are telling that this is mainly depend upon your line pressure and also how many nozzles how many things how much amount of water you are using at the same time and also pressure factor that is to be considered for the spill containment process this is the answer for question number 1 so for question number 175 expose controls personal protection in mlds will not include answer appropriate handling control this is i already explained 176 on board an lng carrier what is the zone classification of the deck the deck is considered under what zone is considered as the answer is zone 1 zone 0 is unsafe and hazardous zone 1 is safe but there is a chance of hazardous if it is crosses the limit zone 2 is safe no also non hazardous area completely so 176 any liberation or leakage of lng on the deck can be possible so this will comes at a zone 1 but inside the tank it comes directly zone 0 accommodation go to zone 2 okay question number 177 what precaution should be taken while lifting heavy loads in the engine room and this all personnel should stand clear of the load being lifted this answers also some of the questions are asked asking the assessment assessment questions also repeating in igf exam question number 178 gas detection methods find an error statement the catalytic portable gas detector which relies on oxygen can be used in atmosphere that are inert deficient oxygen to check the present of lel or person by explosive explosive meter is a one which will operate only with the air so if there is no air the combustion will not take place on this condition that is a catalytic concept it will work it will burn the gas and it will so that rise in temperature will be transferred to the resistance that resistance will give the signal to the system so that is the proper method so here they are telling you can use in deficient in o2 in a condition in a condition you cannot use because in a condition is gas which will not allow the combustion to take place so this gas detector will malfunction so this is a incorrect statement question number 179 If LNG has plants on the skin, what you should not be doing? Answer: Apply a tight sterile dressing on the wood. No, you should not do that. Question number one eight zero. What is the first task to complete before commencing hot work? To complete the hot work permit, any job before carrying out you have to carry out the permit. So this is the answer for question number one eight zero. Okay, friends, if you like my video, please like. If you want to see more videos related to marine, please subscribe my channel. Any suggestions, remarks, comments, you can put it in comment box. Thank you.